Welcome back, everybody. Sportsbook Review. This is Mike Brenner, and this is the Puckheads. I'm talking with Dana Lane, my partner in crime out there in Las Vegas. Dana, right back on track, 2-1 and one last night. You're absolutely kicking ass, taking some names. Uh, here we go. It's crunch time in the NHL. Uh, what do you like tonight, and how can our viewers get the edge against their bookie in the NHL? Uh, well, our first game that we like tonight is 2-1 uh, and one, and one game. Uh, and we're going to go with the Chicago Blackhawks Anaheim Ducks matchup. And really, Mike, what's not to love about the Anaheim Ducks at this point? They're 11, 1, and 3 uh, in their last 15 games. And, and honestly, you know, I, I've been I've been on the Pittsburgh Penguins bandwagon for a long time. But last year, the Pittsburgh Penguins were the team that got hot, and they rode that all the way to the Stanley Cup. And I'm not sure I'm ready to say that about the Anaheim Ducks. Uh, but certainly they are the hottest team going into the playoffs so far. Uh, we know that the Boston Bruins have won six straight as well. So those two teams are teams to keep an eye on. But uh, they are in that 15-game streak. They allowed just 31 goals in that time. They've been exceptionally strong in the face-off circle, winning 55% of their draws over the last month, uh, which is significant because this is a team that's shorthanded quite a bit. Defensively, right now, the Ducks are hurting a little bit. Of course, Cam Fowler is the latest defenseman to go down. Um, th this is why we see some support for Chicago so far. But this is a Blackhawks team that has given up 42 goals in their last 15 games. So what we're going to do with this one is we're still going to ride the Anaheim Ducks streak at minus $1.18 but we're going to take the generous over five and a half at plus a dollar thirty. Over five and a half at plus a dollar thirty. Yes, sir. That's a lot. It's it's high for a uh, uh, for a total. Usually, it's in that ten to twenty range, but we even see some unders at minus a dollar fifty this morning. Yeah, that's definitely value, and I like what you said because you you refer to this often in last year as well. The team that goes in hot is usually the team that nobody wants to face, and it looks like Anaheim definitely stepping up. Eleven one and three, uh, they're tightening up their game. Uh, I like that play. I actually do. I'm thinking about jumping on Anaheim as well. Dane, I'm going to hit you with my first one. I'm going to take a team that's lost three out of four, but they got to straighten it out tonight. I'm going to take the dog. I'm going to take Cal. Calgary, I was able to get it at plus 121. Um, they're going to be playing at L.A., and I know L.A.'s not got a lot to play for. What are your thoughts on that? Because I know you've had a keen eye on the Kings as of late. Yeah, Mike, I, I just kind of stay away from the Kings at this point. I think I'm going to do that the rest of the year because I think defensively, uh, like we said in the last puck head show, they're as good as anybody in the league. I just don't know what I'm going to get from them on the offensive end, and I can't rely on a team that's only going to give me one or two goals potentially to to back them financially. It would be Calgary or nothing for me in this game. Uh, certainly a game that Calgary uh, wants to win to, to gain some momentum going into the playoffs. Yeah, I think so as well, and I kind of thought this line had me scratching my head, but I'm going to ride with it. I'm taking Calgary, pulling the, Calgary, pulling the trigger on that. All right, hit <laughs> us with your last play. Uh, last play is going to be Vancouver, Arizona. Under five plus a dollar fourteen. Uh, we see this all the time when, when they slap fives up that the public just runs to bet the over because you know and honestly it's either going to be a push or a win in most people's minds. But this is a Vancouver Canucks team that's managed just twenty three goals in their last fourteen games, while Arizona has only thirty four in their last fifteen. Uh, they the Canucks have dropped five straight games. And in that stretch, they've scored only four goals. And if you anticipate an Arizona win, you have to anticipate an under because and they're, and Vancouver's 4-5-1 and one on the road. And, and every single one of those losses, they have scored two goals or less. And I anticipate a loss tonight, and I anticipate the, this game to go under the total, and you're getting plus $1.14 on that five. Yeah, I don't see why that trend ought to not continue as well. All right, viewers, this is a quick show today, but you know what? There's value on the board, so please make sure you check out Dana Lane on Twitter, at Dana Lane Sports, and also on his website, at DanaLaneSports.com. Um, also, viewers, we want to thank you for all your support. Dana, we've got some nice viewers out there that are throwing some nice words our way and giving us some props. So, yes, sir. Yeah, if you will, start to uh, comment on them videos. Get back to those fellas. They're trying to get in touch with you on on. Uh, each video so do me that favor get in touch with them and let's keep giving our viewers the winning tickets nhl style absolutely mike i appreciate your time and uh have a great weekend and by the time we talk next week we'll know all the playoff matchups yes we will my friend 
Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.